I vow to all the seekers of truth. Yesterday at the very outset I told you that truth is what it is. If we have not found the truth, we should be humble and honest about it because truth is for our benevolence. For the benevolence of our city, of our society, of our country and of the whole universe. This is a very special time you are all born where people have to get their Self-realization. This is the resurrection time as described in the Bible, is the time of Kiyama as described by Muhammad Sa. This is a very special time when Nala, as you know Nala Damayanti Akhyan, Nala was faced with Kali. He got very angry with Kali and said that you have destroyed my family, you have destroyed my peace and you put people into Brahm, into illusions. So I better kill you. He challenged Kali that you should be finished forever. Then Kali said, all right, let me tell you my Mahatmyam. Let me tell you why I should be there. If I convince you, then you can stop killing me. But if I do not, you can kill me. So he told that today all those who are seeking the truth, seeking their Self-realization, Atma Sakshatkara, those who are going into Giri and Kandara, into the mountains and in the valleys, searching God all over the world, these people will be born as ordinary householders during Kali Yuga. There will be Brahma, no doubt. People will be in sub Brahma. Illusion will be there. And a confusion will be there. That I will create, no doubt. But because of this confusion only, these simple householders will seek the truth. And that's why that is the time they will get their Atma Sakshatkara. It's a lots of prophecies have been there in our Shastras about these times. But especially Bhrugu Muni in Nadi Granth has described about these times. If you tally them with the timing of today, it is exactly this time. After the death of Raghavendra Swami, this will happen and that's what is happening now. For you people it is very important to understand that Raghavendra Swami was in this area and he did a lot of work. And now the time has come to complete his work. Also Raman Maharshi. They didn't know how to explain so they took to Mauna People like Ganeshwara at the age of 23 writing such wonderful things like Amruta Anubhav is a book, I think the last word on spirituality. They had to get into samadhis at a, such a young age of 23 years because nobody 
try to understand so much of ritualism, so much of conditioning, so much of reading, that nobody wanted to know what they were talking. Everybody thought we know everything. And that's how this kind of a satisfaction that they had. Kabira has said, Kaise samajhaun sab jaganda. How am I to explain? The whole world is blind. But this is what we have to achieve in our evolution. This is what we have to jump into. To become the spirit is told by all the scriptures. Not only India, everywhere. If you take Tao, if you take Zen, if you go to the Jewish or to the Christian philosophies or to the Islamic, everywhere it is said that you have to become yourself. You have to have self-knowledge. Of course, anybody said like that, those people who are in charge of religion, at the helm of affairs, making money or creating power out of it, people using religion for power or money. They didn't like it, so they said they are heretics. This is blasphemy. They have no special knowledge. And that's how they have been punishing people, troubling people, torturing them, but the time has come now for all the seekers to get their self-realization, Atma Sakshatkara. <coughs> Yesterday I told you how it works out through Kundalini awakening. About Kundalini people have written all kinds of nonsensical things which is not true. I am your mother, I am going to tell you truth. I am not going to tell you something false. Even if you don't like it, let me tell you because this is for your benevolence, for your good, for your hita. So when the Kundalini rises, she passes through your different centers, which are subtle centers, and nourishes them, pierces through your fontanel bone area and connects you to the all-pervading power about which we do not know. Then from your hands you feel vibrations which are called as Chaitanya Lahari. Adi Shankaracharya is called as Saundarya Lahari. Because you can just the Saundarya with this. Beautifully he has described. But how much they tortured him? Think of it. Person like Adi Shankaracharya, I, mean, I don't know what to say. The one who gave such secrets about the mother, such great descriptions. He was tortured for what? What wrong did he do that he should have been tortured? Now we have to stand up with the truth and must say that, Mother, we have to have the truth and truth and nothing else. I told you yesterday that Atma is the reflection of God Almighty in our heart. In these days of scientific conditioning, this is a new type apart from the dharmic. Scientific conditioning in which every scientist thinks that he knows everything. They don't know anything taken from them. It's absurd. Now you have seen so many scientists coming up and telling you about such. They have accepted because they have experimented. I told them that Muladhara chakra, the first chakra, Muladhara, is made of carbon atoms because it is made of Prithvi And if you photograph the car carbon atom and make a model out of it and then take photograph, say, from left side, you'll see the right side and you'll see actually Om written now. If you see it from the right side on the left side, you will see a swastika. But if you see from down upward, you will see a cross. There is, really I must tell you, a doctor, Varlikar, he is a very famous doctor, he missed his uh, prize in the Nobel Prize because perhaps he was an Indian. 
he's the one who experimented with three, four other Serge Yogi scientists and they said it is so. It is so. There is such a little knowledge with the scientists because they are seeing things from outside. With Sahaja Yoga, you go from inside and everybody says the same thing. Because now you see me standing here wearing a white sari and a red pot. Everybody knows, everybody feels. I don't have to tell you, you know it, you see it and you say this is so. But once you get your realization, whatever you feel on your hands is felt by everyone the same. Even if you take ten children and tie up their eyes, ask them, what is this gentleman suffering from? They don't know if it's a lady or a gentleman, eyes are tied. They'll put, supposing, one finger like this. That means his Vishuddhi is bad, you ask the person, have you got throat trouble? How do you know? We know because this finger is Sri Krishna's finger, Sri Krishna's place. This is the throat. It all relates. Mythology is not all absurd. Ninety percent is absolutely what it was. Of course, there are some absurd things that have walked in. But ninety percent mythology, so-called mythology is absolutely there. Now we go to temples, we think this is a temple going is very good and all that. But we don't know what we are doing, what we are praying, whom are we praying, what are these deities, how they work in ourselves, where do we decide within ourselves, what is their job, how to please them. We don't know anything, but you ask these foreigners, they know everything. First of all, they got fed up with Christianity, that's one thing. They just got fed up with all the nonsense they found out, it's very intelligent, you can see. And their conditioning was much less. And they started thinking, after all, we don't know why they do like this. Then they were just ready. At that time we exported lots of fake gurus. Best export is the fake gurus. Thank God we are saved. We are poor, that's a blessing. So lots of fake gurus went there, made lot of money and here also we had lots of them. I mean, we are just good at it, creating lots of fake gurus. And they befooled people one after another, made lot of money. It's all money oriented. In the beginning it was so difficult for me because they all used to come with a big gusto to fight me because I said, you can't take money in the name of God. That was too much. How can she say you cannot take money? But now it's better. One by one all of them got nicely exposed and more will be exposed. I don't have to tell you about them, they will be exposed one by one. If there is light, all darkness has to go and everything that is there has to be exposed. So everyone feels the same. There's no quarrel about it because the Spirit is the reflection of God Almighty, is one God who reflects Sadashiva. Sadashiva, who is a witness to the work of the primordial Mother Adi Shakti, is just witnessing the play, just witnessing. In you he is witnessing as Atma, but he doesn't come into your attention, he is there. And his attention is only limited because he has not to any way interfere with your freedom. So he keeps to himself, he is just watching. That is the auto. When we say autonomous nervous system, that is the auto. That's the spirit. Now, is the reflection of one Sadashiva. Naturally, all the reflections have to be the same. Their effects have to be the same. Of course, before realization is the reflection on a stone, we can call it, or on a wall, or maybe on some sort of an opaque thing. 
After realization, you become reflectors, beautiful reflectors and it reflects you. And everyone reflects the same thing, so the effect of Atma Sakshatkar is the same on every person that first he starts feeling this cool breeze in his hands, then out of his spontaneous bone area. All of them feel the same way, then they start feeling these centers and finding out what's wrong. Also, all of them become thoughtlessly aware, first stage which we call as nirvichar samadhi. Instantaneously it works. You may say, Mother, it's very difficult, how does it happen, people had to go to Himalayas, all right, doesn't matter, you don't have to. Those days are gone. After all, the civilization, this tree of civilization has grown so, grown so big, its roots have to be grown, otherwise the whole civilization will be finished. And this is the knowledge of the roots and that's why to know this knowledge you have to become subtler, sukshma. This is only possible when the kundalini rises and pierces through your fontanelle bone and makes you connected with the all-pervading power of God's love. So the first thing that you feel is collective consciousness because everybody is the spirit. So you can feel another atma, you can feel another atma, you can feel another. You can feel their body, you can feel their mind, you can feel anything. This is the first quality you get, Samuhi Chetana, on your nervous system, on your central nervous system. Whatever you have got in your evolution is expressed on your central nervous system. Now see, for example, if you have a dog or a horse, and you want to take him through a very dirty lane. It will go, it won't bother. But for a human being it is very difficult. Because in our evolution, our central nervous system has developed this sense of smell, a sense of beauty. All right. So this they have developed and once they have developed, what happens that now, we human beings are definitely higher than animals in our evolution and in our subtler sensitivities. For a dog it doesn't matter what you put here, how you decorate, what color you wear, nothing. To us it is very important because our sensitivity has improved. It has improved because of our evolutionary process we have become human beings. But in the human stage, we have one problem and that problem is that we have developed two institutions in our head and it's called as ego and super ego. When you call the ego and the condition. These two institutions on, on our head cross over and calcify and we make become a closed personality. When the Kundalini rises, she passes through this Agya Chakra which is on the optic chasma and sucks in these two, opens the Sastrara and the Kundalini goes up. This is a living process. This is not that you can do. Supposing you want to sow a seed, you cannot pull out a primul, the Ankura and push it into the thing. You cannot make uh, the seed sprout. It's a living process of a living God and of a living energy. Please understand, there's a big difference. So, this is working out spontaneously, the rising of the Kundalini. She's your mother. She moves very beautifully without troubling you. She knows her child very well. This is the chance she has to give realization to you. She has loved you all her life, all your lives and she knows all about you, all your problems. Like a naughty boy you have been, doesn't matter. She says this is the chance to give them realization. It is she who comes up well, beautifully 
works it out, we assist. All this happens. But when she touches the Brahmarandra or pierces through the Brahmarandra, then the seat of Sadashiva is here. His reflection here, but the seat is here. These are the pitas in our head, seven pitas. And the chakras are down. So when she pierces through that, what we do is actually we have touched the feet of Sadashiva and that's how in our heart the spirit enters into our attention. When the spirit enters into our attention, we become enlightened, our attention is enlightened. And this attention is very alert and it knows everything. Sitting down here you can find out about people what they are doing on the chakras. You will not discuss what clothes they are wearing, how much money they have in the bank, but they will see where are they on their chakras, what's the problem. Sitting here you can cure them. Sitting here you can help them. But they have to be one with this all-pervading power, that is important. If they are not, then it takes some time. So, first of all, you become nirvichar, nirvichar samadhi. And you start working out your collective consciousness by giving realizations to others. You become entitled to raise Kundalini. With your hands, you can raise Kundalini. You know these people who are singing here, some of them have given realization to thousand people. And you can do it also. Because now you have the power. But the problem is, you have been given the throne, you have been made to sit on that. Now you have been also adorned with a beautiful mukuta, but still you don't want to believe you have become the king. Now how to make you believe? So the second point is self-confidence is very difficult. They cannot believe that they have got self-realization and go ahead with it. Work it out, you have become your own guru, go ahead with it. They cannot, they are afraid. But all these horrible cheats, they have no realization, they have no knowledge, nothing. They become the great gurus, have thousands of people behind them, make fool of them, make money and spoil their lives. While those who are sajogis, who have all the knowledge, everything, still they are so humble. They are so simple, but they know about everyone. Anyone who comes there, they know, ah, we know this one. They won't say, but they know all of them in their own science. They will tell, this is this, they know. Then collectively they will work for that person. You will not know what they are doing and it will work out. So the second nature of the spirit, apart from that it is a collective being, it is an absolute being. We live in a relative world. This is good, this is bad, that is this, this is that. But it's an absolute being in the sense you put your hands towards a photograph. Immediately, if it is made by a realized soul, you will start getting the vibrations. Think of anyone. Was that a realized soul? Just put your hands. There are many it people who don't believe in God, it is called, so called, don't believe in God. I mean, it's most unscientific, but supposing they don't believe in God. They have to just ask, Mother, is there God? Finished they get the vibration. All things can be proved, there is pramana for everything, pramana for all that is said so far. This is a very great thing that happens, to, that you get the pramana out of your chaitanya. Then, this chitta, 
which is so attentive, which is so dynamic, which is so effective, also purifies you. It knows where is your problem, what chakra is cut, they tell you. Like I was there uh, in Delhi, they brought three boys. Mother, there are guests catching, somehow or other we cannot clear it. That means they are egoistical. They also said, yes, mother, we are against catching, you've got headaches. They are egoistical, but they didn't say they are egoistical. And they themselves are saying, yes, mother, our Agya is catching, please clear it out. So you are yourself saying, I'm egoistical. Because that pains you, now that that ego is paining you. So mother, clear us out, we can't clear out this Agya. All right, come along, I'll clear it out. So you start judging yourself. You know about yourself, what's wrong with you. My this Nabi is catching, my that chakra is catching, my that chakra is catching. They all know about themselves and they know how to clarify and clear it out and work it out. So you cleanse yourself. But the greatest cleansing comes when you are collective. Many people take my photograph, my mother, we do puja, we sit down, meditate. But still again I got this trouble. You have to be in the collective, that is a very important part of surgery. Because now, see, you don't have to go to Himalayas, not have to go and jump in the Ganges. You don't have to do any fasting. You don't have to say any japas, nothing. Only one thing, you be collective. Collective is the ocean of the attention of Almighty. Once you are in that collective, you get cleansed. Like my finger, supposing, is all right, but supposing a nail is cut out and thrown, it won't grow. Nobody will pay attention to it. So you have to come to the collective. There, ego comes in. There are people who are very big, rich, uh, very well educated, uh, uh, politicians, you know, big, 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 big people. They find it difficult to come down to a humble place in the center. They want another palace to be created for them, otherwise how can we go there? Is mother's house? Even if your mother is humble, she doesn't have much money, all right, doesn't matter, it's my mother's house. And they don't come and then they lose vibration. This is a very common failing, especially in India, not in the West because they know what precious thing they have achieved. We have no idea as to what it is that we have achieved our Atma Sakshatkara. So, again next year I come, Mother, I have this problem, that problem. I have been meditating at home, all right. If you don't come to the collective, you cannot cleanse yourself. That's the only way in Sahaja Yoga you can cleanse yourself and you can be above everything. So when the Kundalini passes through your Agya Chakra, you become thoughtlessly aware. A thought rises and falls, another thought rises and falls. Some come from the past, some come from the future. But we are not in the present. If I say you be in the present, you cannot be. That's why Kundalini awakening is a happening which attracts your attention inside. Just like this sari of mine is the Kundalini coming up. See now, it's spread out like that. But when she's coming up, she's pulling all the attention inside. And that's how your attention goes in. And when she pierces through, then there is a space in between the thought called as vilamba. This, of course, everybody knows perhaps. That increases, that is the present. So we have to be in the Vartaman. We have to be in the present, then we are thoughtless. Say the waves of water rising, falling, you are facing the water. But when you are in the water, you are afraid, frightened. When you have problems, you are frightened. But supposing somebody takes you out and puts you into a boat, then you see it. 
you can solve your problems. But supposing you know how to swim, you can jump down and save many others. So in three stages you move. So the growth only takes place when you are thoughtlessly aware and that can be achieved in collectivity as well as in your meditation for which you don't have to pay. Some people have an opening introduction lecture free and then the second one is banking. Sahaja Yoga is not like that. All this nonsense is not in Sahaja Yoga, it's reality. Reality cannot be purchased. Actually God doesn't know bank, He doesn't know money, He doesn't understand anything about money. He has not made money, this is your headache, not His. Of course, supposing I have to fly, I have to pay, it's all right. If I have to get a hall, I have to pay, but for the hall, not for God. For awakening, for enlightenment, you cannot charge anything. Even for darshan, I am told people charge money, imagine. For them everything is money, 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 money. How can they rise to the level of spirit? And we are so simple, you know. The bhaktas are so simple, all right, you want five rupees, I'll sell my ring and you want this, I'll give you this. There was a guru in America who had, I think, 48 rolls royce or something, I had forgotten the counts. And he wanted one more. So he told his disciples that you should somehow or other get me one more rolls royce, then I'll come to England. So poor things were living on potatoes, starving themselves. So one of the surgeons said, what are you doing? Why does he want a rolls royce? What is his interest in rolls royce? He says, you know, we are just giving him the metal, but he is giving us the spirit. Can you imagine? Metal can be exchanged for spirit. Must be some sort of a bhuta bada he must be putting on them. And that in English language is spirit. English language is very dangerous because spirit... <laughs> spirit is wine, spirit is atma and spirit is a bhut. I don't know which spirit they mean. <laughs> so, the relationship with God, if it has to establish, we have to become first of all the spirit. Then only this relation can be established. One may certify oneself, I am this, I am that, but it's no good. It is of no use because this human body is given to you. Imagine what this divine power must have done to make you a human being. How gently, carefully, beautifully you are made a human being. And now, why this human body you have got? What are we using it for? We must evaluate our human life. What is it for? Is it for just insurance or I don't know what else they do, but is it for something that we become the light of the world? So this light of the spirit spreads in the attention and the attention becomes dynamic, active, works out, is very alert and extremely punctual. Then this attention doesn't get bored at all. People don't know what is boredom is because this boredom comes when your attention becomes tired. But here the attention is full of light, 
So they don't know what is boredom is. The second thing that is the nature of spirit is that it tells you the truth, the absolute truth. Nothing but the truth. Anything that these Chaitanya Laris tell you, when you are matured enough, not before that, when your connection is complete, otherwise half you are connected and half you are not, then no, but when you are mature, that is the stage of nirvikalpa. When you become that, then your attention is absolutely correct, your vibrations are correct and the report is absolutely correct and what information you get is hundred percent correct. So the truth about anyone. Now, say, you want to know about Sri Ganesh. We worship Sri Ganesh. Many people make fun of him, even so-called intellectuals, you see. They don't know what to say, so they start saying nonsensical things about Sri Ganesh. It's the same. But you can ask whether is Gauri Putra is bestowed upon the Muladhara in ourselves? Of course, all those who are realized will get tremendous vibrations. And you too. If you have doubts, if you are worshipping Sri Ganesha, you ask this question. If you are worshipping Sri Vishnu, you ask that question. If you are worshipping Christ, you ask that question. If you are worshipping Shiva, you ask that question. What's wrong with us that without connection, we are calling Shiva, 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 Shiva. Is he in our pocket? How can you just call, is he our servant or what? But if you are realized, even taking once his name is sufficient, he acts. Because we are in his kingdom. In this kingdom of yours, in the Indian kingdom that is there, you may call anybody, nobody will come in any case. So question doesn't arise. And when you start calling God also without con connection, it won't act. But if you are connected, then not only that, that deity will help, the one who is troubling you will be all right. Not only that, but whatever you want is done, and it happens. All kinds of manorathas are fulfilled. So whether we should call it enlightenment or fulfillment is your own choice. It's complete fulfillment of your own being. So the third nature of the spirit is that it is love. Because it is love, it gives you joy. But nirvaj, this love doesn't want anything. It just gives such a soothing, beautiful feeling. People have stress after doing all kinds of nonsensical things, you will have stress, no doubt. But when the hole is made here, all your stress goes out. There's no more stress. We don't know what is stress is. People don't go to doctors. Even the doctors don't go to doctors. They come to me, I'm not a doctor, but they come to me. Surprising. This is Meta-modern science, meta-modern, above-modern science. But do you know we are, Indians, have this heritage of our own. We believe more in the English language, more in the English dress, more in the English knowledge, because we know English only. But those who know French will believe in French. Now the time has come that they should believe in us. Because we don't believe in our own country, we don't believe in our own culture, we don't believe in our own knowledge. 
This is nothing new, I am telling you. Sahaja Yoga is a very ancient thing. Nanaka is Sahaja Samadhi Lago. Every saint has described. But we are doing this, that, all ritualism, karma kandis, this, that. This cannot give you the ultimate. Cannot. I'm telling you, that's the truth. Spirit is what we have to be. That's the ultimate goal of our life. That the, all the rest of them fall in line. And that's what we have got from every scriptures, from every incarnation, from everywhere. Let us now just think that let us become the spirit and then let us become a realized soul, a master. May God bless you all.